Sometimes it's nice to include on-screen controls to move the panorama or object. This is called a controller and they're easy to build from scratch. For any controller, you'll need a set of graphics that function as buttons. You can create your own buttons, choose from the ones offered by our users, or use the pre-installed controllers. To add the buttons, click Add Button in the toolbar, and then click in the canvas. This will open a dialog for you to navigate to them. You can also drag your images onto the canvas. In this case, each image will need to be converted to a button. With all the images still selected, go to the Image panel in the Properties and click Convert to Button. Notice that they are still stacked on top of each other with one image a parent and the rest children. You'll just need to move the children to make them parents, and then select a button one at a time to spread them out. I'll detach both the tree and property sections to give myself a bit more room to work with. Now I can zoom in to the canvas and change the grid size. The skin editor has a lot of tools to help you arrange the buttons. You can turn on snapping to the grid and to guides. If you select all the buttons, you can then refine their placement by distributing them, for example, at their horizontal centers. Now I'll add them to a container to make it easier to move the buttons as one element. Do this by selecting the container in the toolbar and then drag around all the buttons in the canvas. They'll all be added to the container and now when I select the container I can move the buttons as a whole. I've spent some time getting these buttons in the right spot and the last thing I want to happen is that I accidentally move one of them. With all of them selected, I'll lock each one in the editor. This will prevent any such accidents. They're only locked in the editor. You can still change their properties. I want this controller to always be at the bottom center of the window, so I need to make sure the container is anchored there. When a user's mouse hovers over a button, I want there to be some kind of visual feedback. To show this, I'll add a second state to each button by selecting it in the tree and going to its properties. For mouse over, I'll add another image. While I'm here, I'll give it an action so that it'll function as a button. Double clicking on this table will pop up the action settings. The action will be pan left and the source will be pressed, so when that button is pressed, the panorama or object will start to spin to the left. I'll just continue on adding a second state to each button and applying their appropriate actions. The last step here is to simply test the controller using the live preview. If everything is working well, save the skin and give it a name. I'll save this to the Skins folder so I can easily get to it from the Flash and HTML5 output settings. I've already started on a project and now I want to add my new controller to it. Because I saved this skin in the Defaults folder, I can just choose from this list here. Now I'll output that project. And there we have it with my customized controller.